What's up guys, Filterless here. So I ran into the SD card issue myself. As you can see, it's not able to read it and the whole system is unresponsive. So I'm trying to click up here on the gaming tab. Then I was going to minimize AMD and I'm nothing's working. It's pretty much freezing the entire system. So I try opening the AMD control panel down here to see if I can get any options by right clicking. And the whole system is basically unresponsive. I think this is what most people are experiencing. And what's interesting about this is as soon as I pop the card, the whole system just immediately comes back to life. Even the windows that were frozen and everything else. So here I'm popping in the Samsung Evo card again just to see what happens. And once again, the whole system's becoming sluggish. I can't even open the card at this point. You can see it trying to read it at the top. And as I try to open the AMD control panel and Steam at the bottom, clicking is doing nothing. Here I pull up Task Manager, I see something really interesting. The disk is at 100% and we're not getting any read or write speed at all. So here I'm just setting the device down. This is fast forwarded like 10x and you'll see it's just 100%. So it's staying there. So what I do is I'm going to hook it up to a dock to give you all a better view. And here once again, it's at 100% just sitting there. So here I loaded up Event Viewer and I'm getting a bunch of disk errors. So hardware error, basically hardware failure on the SD card. So at this point, I actually thought for sure the Samsung Evo Plus card had a problem. So here I decided to pop the Evo card out and put it in this external reader I have, as you can see at the bottom right. And as you can see, it's showing the write speed, read speed down at the bottom. So I'm able to open up File Explorer this is in the external reader and it just instantly opens. The whole system's very responsive, no issues at all. Here I'm putting the Evo 512 card in again. And I notice I get this pop up in Armory Crate. So instead of actually clicking either option, I go to Task Manager to see maybe this is what's causing it. It's trying to use it as a main storage device, it's doing something with files. And I notice that it's not showing capacity at all in Task Manager. However, it doesn't look like the system is frozen at this point. Since it appears that the card's working fine right now, I go ahead and try to copy a folder just to see what happens because we're at 0% usage, even though we're not seeing capacity. I just want to see what happens when we actually try to copy and paste a file into itself. You'll see we're at 100 and no read or write speed at the bottom. Occasionally it will pop up and show like 2.1, 1.1, but overall it's not really doing hardly anything. So I go to check the files here. And you can see this is not normal for a card. We're in kilobytes and then it's freezing. I go back into Event Viewer just to see if we're getting any errors. I don't see any showing hardware failure now with the card in. And here we are at 0% still. This has been running the whole time I was looking through Event Viewer. So zero bytes. It's not really working properly. This is not how the card should work. I go back to File Explorer. The card has been in the whole time. The transfer is still going. And I notice that it's disappearing. The system's freezing a bit. Something seriously wrong with either the card or the reader. I go ahead and restart the system. I left the card in the system as I restarted it. And you can see here the system is sluggish again. It's really struggling. The card's not actually showing the capacity right now. We're getting that green bar, it's trying to figure out what's going on. So right here, the file that I tried copying earlier that wasn't working, I just go to delete it off of the SD card. It's only 23 megs, as you can see at the bottom. It's not There's not a lot of files in there. It's very small since it was failing. And you can see we're at 100% again. And Task Manager with 0% read, 0% write. Deleting something off of this should work fine no issue should be very quick especially something so small so it's just sitting at 100 i'm fast forwarding like 10x 30x and it just freezes since i had popped the card out so many times i go ahead and check for disk errors and i see right here we found errors on this disk so i'm thinking hey it's probably something with this so i go ahead and repair the drive the drive has finished repairing now it shows that it hasn't found any errors I go to copy this 20 meg file again over to the card. And as soon as I paste this, it jumps to 42% this time, then drops down and freezes. And we're getting the same thing in Task Manager again, where it's not really showing a read or write. And this is a very small file. Like I said, this should be less than a second on this card I'm using. Just fast forward a little to show you this is waiting a while to see if it eventually works and it doesn't. I wish I would have filmed this. I had removed the Genesis reader here and I was going to create a tutorial because I figured 
maybe it is a driver issue still something with the sd card reader itself and the rog ally i download the latest card reader driver i go ahead and get that installed and restart the computer and the card reader is no longer coming up at all so this is after the restart reinstalling the new driver I downloaded the older driver so i'm going and installing that right now then I restart the system. The card reader is still nowhere to be found. And at this point, I go ahead and decide it's time to re-image the actual ROG Ally. For the re-image, I decide to not use the Asus image that I had on it. Instead, I load up Windows on a USB, do a brand new fresh install. So I'm not getting any additional drivers or anything. Once I do it, it's going to, it's not going to be putting anything that Asus might have on there just to see what happens. Put the card in the system. This is a brand new install. I've not let any drivers or anything run and it's still not recognizing it at all. Check for updates and I can see Genesis Logic drivers in there. So I let all of these install and restart the device. We've got the Evo 512 we're gonna throw in. I pop it in and it looks like it's working great. I don't see any lag on the system. I'm able to just open the card. So I think, hey, it's probably some type of driver issue. So I go to copy this small video file over to the card. You can see it's only 11 megabytes, should be half a second. And I'm realizing on a brand new install of Windows, we're getting the exact same issue again. Here I close out of the copy because I couldn't cancel it. And we see the card's not reading properly. We're going to get that green bar at the top just like before. The system starts becoming sluggish. I go ahead and plug in the external reader and I open up the card and it looks like it's working fine. And I drag that video file over and it immediately copies. Not even a copy bar comes up. So I copy and paste this onto itself using my external keyboard. You'll see it's copying this file. This is on the SD, the 512 Evo on an external reader and it's copying and pasting fine. I go to delete the files and it literally works perfect. Here I start looking into the different types of formatting and what could possibly be the issue. And I see EXFAT, which is what the card is formatted to, doesn't have a journaling feature, which could cause corruption on the card itself. So I'm thinking it possibly could be that with the way it's interacting specifically with the ROG Ally card reader. Even though it's working on the external, I figured this might still have something to do with it. I decided to format the SD card. This is on the internal reader. And it says Windows was unable to complete the format. So I go ahead and just pop the card out. I threw it in the external reader and formatted it and it worked perfect. It only took a few seconds and formatted the drive with no issue. As you can see, I can open up the drive as well. The system's not lagging whatsoever. So I go ahead and take all of these video files. It's 270 megs and try to copy it over. And this is on the external reader. The, this is the Evo card, brand new format. It's working perfect. So now that I know it's working in this reader, I go ahead and take it out of this reader and throw it back into the system itself, into the ROG Ally. It recognizes it. This is a brand new format. I'm thinking this should work fine. So I go ahead and open it up and then I grab these files and drag them over. And this happens again. And now I decide it's time to figure out if this card works or not. So I'm going to throw this in the Steam Deck, format it, and see what happens when I try to install the games onto it. Since it's having an issue in the ROG Ally, I figure, hey, let's throw it in the Steam Deck, see what happens. So it's formatting. I'll go ahead and skip ahead to when it's done. Here I'm going to try to install Skyrim on the card itself. So we click on install. We're doing the micro SD, the Evo card. As you can see here, the download just started and we're already at a gig on the card itself. It's going extremely fast. It has a short burst where it can do about 100 megs a second. So it's already at almost two gigs have been written to the card and then it will start slowing down. I believe U3 is a 30, meg sec 30 megabyte a second write speed that it can sustain. And see here, I fast forwarded, you can see the line, it kind of goes up and down, but we are getting over 30, usually around 40-ish, 35, 40 megs, and we're at almost nine gigs now, and it's working perfect. Then a thought crossed my mind, I have a dash cam with a similar class speed card, 128 gig out in my car that I use for recording video. So there's a U3 right there, A2 U3 card, 128 gig SanDisk Extreme Plus. I decided to pop this in there because I know this card's working and it does not see this card. So I go ahead and take the card out. I hook it into the external reader I was using earlier. 
I plug it in. It immediately shows up and works. The system doesn't lag at all. So I go ahead and grab the test files, 270 megabytes worth of files, and it's copying perfectly. This is on the external reader, plugged directly into the device, as you can see. So I go ahead and take it out of there, and I put it back into the Ally. We go to open up File Explorer, and it's freezing the system. This is a completely separate card. This card I know works, and... Even after this video, I put it back into my dash cam. The dash cam is recording perfectly fine. So at this point, I've come to the conclusion. I think there is a serious problem with the reader itself and the ROG Ally. One thing I did want to point out is just how close the card reader is to the exhaust fans. This seems really close. This thing does blow out a lot of heat. On the Steam Deck, the card reader is all the way at the bottom away from all of the major heat producing components so i don't know if that might have had something to do with it or not and my biggest concern was that there could be other things that go out due to the heat and so that's why i ended up returning it i actually would have kept this device if i knew the only thing that was going to be the issue is the sd card reader itself stopped working i still would have kept it that's how much i like the ally i really enjoyed doing videos for you guys i'm trying to think of Something I could do for new content. I have the Steam Deck. I might start doing a few videos on that. I hope none of y'all run into the same issue. I'm probably going to wait maybe for either a refresh or at least Asus to acknowledge it. I personally don't think there's going to be a driver that's going to fix this considering I reinstalled a brand new copy of Windows. I tried using the Genesis driver that Windows downloaded. Then I rolled it back to one that was dated 2006. I also downloaded the Genesis driver directly from Intel and tried that one. And they all did the same thing. It makes me really think there is a hardware issue considering both of the cards work fine and everything else. And I'm not having any issues on any other system or anywhere besides the internal reader on the ROG Ally. I hope this video provided value. Now we'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.